Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle and today we are talking about healing and to be more specific about Healing Salve. That's a healing product that normally you will not find in the world, but you can craft high quantities relatively easily. Now why is it so good? That's exactly what I want to tell you in this video and then I will follow up with a quick crafting guide how to get a lot super easy. Now, the most important part is interaction of Healing Salve with non-power armor build. I will go into more details and some exceptions, but to show you that I will engage in some combat. I will temporarily unequip Bone Survival, so it will not trigger. But Bone Survival itself is very interesting with Healing Salve and Stimpax. Now, I'm being fired upon, look at that, I press a quick heal button, which is F on the keyboard, and I'm being healed instantly, and I can stack it. Did you notice any animation? You did not, because there was no animation. Unlike with a steam pack, like if I would like to use a steam pack, let's say I would have no healing salve on me, so I will temporarily drop it, hopefully it will not disappear. I'm dropping it all. And now, let's say I'm engaged in combat with those guys. I'm trying to heal and you see, I press it like three times because I was staggered. Then it was followed up by an animation with a steam pack. During the animation, I cannot fire. I will show you again. I'm being attacked. Hopefully being attacked. Come on, Super Mutant. You can, you can do better than that. So let's say he's doing more damage than what he's doing. This one is quite lazy. But he's doing damage. I'm about to die and I'm trying to press a quick heal button. And look at that. I need this animation. If there will be stagger anything blocking my animation, it will not work as well. There is a time. So I'm out of the combat for one to two seconds because of animation. Why with healing salva, there is no animation. You push the button and it works. Now, there are some exceptions and some cool interactions. So let's cover first Born Survival. Born Survival with Healing Salve will never work. So it's guarantee that Born Survival will be triggering regular steam packs going in order. Diluted, regular steam, super steam, depend what you have available. It will never consume Healing Salve, which is very good because you always have it where you need it for the use with a quick heal button. So Born Survival will not eat it, which is really good. Now, about steam packs. The one thing you need to know, if you do have any of the steam pack diluted, as you can see, I don't. I only carry regular and super. If you will have any diluted stims and you press quick heal button, diluted stims will be used by the quick heal instead of healing salve, which is not good. That's why if you want to use this combo, I do recommend to sell all the diluted or drop them or hope that Born Survival will consume them fast enough so we'll have zero in no time. Now, will the healing salve work with, uh, let's say, scout banner effect, auto revive? Yes. So even if you have no steam packs at all, auto revive will still happen with Healing Salve. So for auto revive purposes, it will work, which is good. Now, how much it heal and another interaction. Normally it heals around 20% health. With first aid is 30% of your health bar. It is a continuous heal. Unlike Steam Pack that goes with a strong heal followed up by a weak heal, the Healing Salve heal is one continuous healing burst quite effective. And one more advantage. Let's say it's a very heavy fight and you want to use quick heal button. If you have regular steam packs, no healing salve, as I said, there is animation. So you'll use one steam pack, you will wait until animation finish, you'll use a second steam pack. With healing salve, there is no such thing. With healing salve, you basically can spam the heal button 
and every press of the heal button will consume one. There is no cooldown, no animation, so we can use even 10 at once if you want to and out tank thanks to this healing anything. So that's a huge advantage. Now, how do we get a lot of it? Uh, first, it's easy craftable. So what you will need, obviously from perks, you need plants. So you need to equip green thumb. Then if you want to craft even more, you can easily craft between two and 500. And farming, it's about five, five minutes of farming to get uh, oops, that was a misclick. It's about five minutes of farming to get 100 healing salver. You can additionally boost your yield of plants if you use Backwoodsman 4. It will be plus 50% your yield. You don't need to. I don't think you will need so much healing salver. I crafted about 400 and my usage of healing salver is about 10 per day, maybe 20. So you can see how long it lasts. Depend what you are doing, but it lasts and it's easy to craft. Now, where you go for ingredients? Super easy. I will show you the best path. I will not be picking up everything as I don't want to make it incredibly long. Hillfolk hot dogs is where you start up the river, turning towards Alpine River cabins, then towards Vault 76, then back towards the wayward down this river. I know there is no river drone in here, but there is a river and I will show you what we are picking up. Now, first thing you are collecting is blood leaf. Those always grow close to water. So we are basically running directly towards the water. That's how those look like. I don't have any perks equipped as I will not be crafting. I'm just showing you where to run. So those are the blood leaves. There is a lot of them uh, with this path, mainly blood leaf. If you need some other plants, like you can get sugar as you go. There are snap there's there's glowing uh, fungus. There's other stuff down this path. If you need it, there is more blood leaf as you can see. And that's the river you are turning into. You are turning into this river and running up. There is more blood leaf. Just keep your eyes open both sides of the river. There will be more blood leaf. Then there is only one more ingredient that you need to craft healing salve and it's more in the forest region towards vault 76 that's why we are running this path so we'll be collecting a lot of blood leaf all the way here if you need some wood the logs are everywhere as you will need to boil some water so if you have no wood you can just pick it up then you keep your eyes open for soot flower soot flower will be growing everywhere inside the forest so on the side of the river and in open areas the soot flower will be everywhere the blood leaf only next to the water as you can see the, over there even more and this river is ending in here at those cabins the river is ending but you continue you continue farming because there is a lot of soot flower if you run the forest and here where we are the cabins so you keep running this direction so it's like northeast and as you can see the soot flower will be appearing everywhere towards vault so just keep your eyes open blue flowers that's what you are collecting keep running in this direction towards vault and turn around wayward there is water there is more uh, blood leaf you will have a lot after you run this path now where it comes to crafting you need to remember for the best result to equip two perks chemist under intelligence one point doubles the quantity when you craft chems and super duper under luck 30 percent chance to double again you will craft it from chemistry station you actually can craft it as well from cooking station so either one will work you need some boiled water first then you find it under healing and as you can see, there is different types, a lot of types of healing salve available. If you are a relatively new player, you probably only have the forest one, but it's the one you need. So look what, look what it's needed. One blood leaf, one soot flower, one boiled water to get two and chance for free when super duper triggers. 
So it's very easy to get a lot of healing salve super easily. When you do the full run, collect all those blood leaves and soot flowers, you will have over 100 of each, which results in crafting about 250 healing salve and one go, or even more if you notice more plants than I usually. I, I skip some, I'm not very good in noticing them. So you craft that and you have a lot of healing salve easily. And this is the guide for you. Let me know if you were aware about those amazing properties of healing salve, like no animation healing. It's huge. It's huge in this game, especially during the heat of the battle, or if you want to heal yourself in last moment without causing a downtime and stopping for animation to steam yourself up. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.